Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. That worked out really, really well. What's up, guys? Welcome to More Skills TV. My name is Austin, and this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the Nookazon. And I'm not affiliated with Nookazon, I just like using it, so I wanted to make a video about it. We're going to do some live demonstrations where I'm going to be selling some items on the Nookazon. So let's get right into it. So how do we even sell items on the Nookazon? Well, first we need to create an account on the Nookazon. I'm not going to go into how to create an account because that should be pretty self-explanatory. But once you create an account, all you have to do is search for the item that you're wanting to sell. So for this example, I'm going to be selling a plastic pool. So all I got to do is type in plastic pool, hit enter. And then you're going to want to select your color or model of what you're selling. Uh, mine's a polka dot one so then you click on it again and before you sell anything on here you want to get an idea of what the going rate is for the item um, just because you know it might be 3,000 bells and nooks cranny it could be way more on the nook is on see what it says right here average price is a hundred K so what you could do is you can search for it and then um, you can see what everyone else is selling it for but usually this is pretty accurate so I just go by this and a lot of times I like to price my items lower than the average price just because when someone is searching for it if they were happen to search by lowest um, lowest price then they'll see mine as the first result so once you know the average price and you know what price you want to sell it for all you gotta do is click add to listing then you're going to want to like type in the price right here. So we are going to sell ours for 75K, right? And then you're going to want to click on, um, you can ask for offers if you want. Basically what that means is if, um, let's say that your price is selling it for 75K right here, you, you could have someone message you um, saying, I'll give it to you for like 50K or you know 20k or some, sometimes you get people that lowball you but really it's just kind of up to you it doesn't really matter too much you just click on ask for offers and then you can click on if you want bells or nook miles um, whatever you're accepting you know I usually just click on both of these but like I said just choose the best option for you and then once you do that you click add to listing and it's really that simple it says that our listing has been submitted back and as you can see we went ahead and put some items on the nook on we got that piano we got the plastic pool uh, we got the the paper lantern uh, we got an arcade seat and we also got the pirate treasure crown and a pirate dress so i went ahead and priced a couple high value um, items so we're going to see if we have any offers you just want to go ahead and click on this little uh, notification thing Oh, looks like we got some offers. Um, so we'll make an offer for the pirate treasure crown. So you go ahead and click on that. Um, let's see what they offer for it. Okay, so we got a five Nook Miles ticket offer. Okay, that, that's pretty reasonable. Um, that's about what I asked for, kind of. Because Nook Miles tickets generally go for about 150 k So that's not too bad. Right, guys, so I think we're going to accept this offer for the five Nook Miles tickets just because I've been wanting to do some dreamy hunting. And um, yeah, I've been wanting to stack up some Nook Miles tickets. So we're going to go ahead and accept this offer. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to type in the Dodo code for your island and send them the code. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys. So we have sent her the Dodo code. I got this little uh, trade station built. So, um, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. All we got to do is wait for that person to arrive to my island and we're going to do a trade. Oh, we got a notification. What do we got here? All right, it says that she is on her way for the pirate treasure crown. Oh, there, there she is. She's on her way. Yes, yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop her item right here. Awesome. Woo, woo. Yeah, that worked out great. And we got her five Nook Miles tickets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. 
That worked out really, really well. Live demonstration of that trade we did with the trade booth. Uh, it was pretty cool, right? And I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but I did all that on a brand new Nookazon account. I actually created a new account just for this video because I wanted to see if it would actually matter or not if I had reviews and if I could still get offers. And I had no trouble getting offers whatsoever, though it does help to have a, a good bio written. As you can see, I just put something simple like, hey, what's up everyone? Looking to trade and sell for Bells or Nook Miles tickets. If you see anything that you would like, don't hesitate to send me an offer. Thanks. So um, I think that worked really good because I had a pretty good bio written, you know, something simple. So that just goes to show that you don't need to have reviews in the beginning and you can still get offers fairly quickly. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful and now you feel more comfortable and confident when using the Nookazon. Hopefully you got enough information out of this video where you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to use the Nookazon. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I enjoy using it. I can definitely find a lot of cool rare items by using the Nookazon. Nookazon has a lot of safety tips so you can practice the best tips in case you know you would ever happen to, you know, deal with a scammer or be a victim of a scam. Um, if you follow Nookazon's best practices, um, you'll know what to do in that situation. So I do recommend going over those. And um, that's actually where I got my idea and inspiration for my trade booth that I made for my island. And if you wanna make your own trade booth, then I'll go ahead and leave the codes down in the description below and you can download them. Uh, they're not my codes, I didn't create them, but um, we do have credit to the creator of those codes. These are just the codes that I use for my trade booth, and I thought it looked pretty cool. And if you thought this video was helpful, then give it a thumbs up. If we get enough thumbs up on this video, then the YouTube algorithm will push this video and it'll reach more people. So that helps me out a lot because I want to help as much people as possible with this guide. And if you enjoyed the content, then consider subscribing. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.